<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome to the mental house, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. I want to welcome you. Now, today, family, I'm soliciting your help. I um, need your opinions and I need your comments. Okay? Because sometimes, you know, we can say things that fall on deaf ears. Maybe the person you burnt them out with your conversation. Maybe you've said things that they hear it so much from you, they don't want to hear it no more. There's all kinds of dynamics that go into when a person or how a person receives your message, okay? Or your thoughts, your opinions, your concerns. Well, I had the, um, I don't even know if I want to say pleasure or displeasure of talking with a ex-student of mine. Um, and they shared some things with me that I got to share with y'all because I really, really need y'all opinion. Now, the person I'm speaking of has one child who has cerebral palsy um, and now I think of course the way the limitness in the child's um, activity makes her like pretty much on the low end of the totem pole you know she doesn't walk she doesn't do any of those things she's pretty much immobile and she's taller than her mother um, she's 19, and um, she has cerebral palsy. Then there's another one that she's suffering with, with all kinds of behavior issues. And um, so these are the things that she was sharing with me. And she's in a residential facility now. Okay? And then with that being said, she, um, which is the, 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 the one that's in a residential facility, she is totally emotionally disturbed. I mean, she's been running away from home since she's been um, like a little kid. And so she's had a lot of challenges with her. And so if that wasn't enough um, for her, enough challenges, she decided to have another baby with somebody else. And this baby is maybe about eight and she um you know presents her with a certain amount of challenges because first of all her parenting skills are a lot leaves a lot to be desired because she was not parented okay so be, in in essence because she was not parented at all um her parenting skills are, I would say, on a scale from 1 to 10. Hers is about a 4. Okay. Um, in terms of hygiene, I mean, in terms of physical uh, providing and those um, components, I would give her actually a 6, maybe even a 7. Uh I don't think that you can discipline somebody if you don't have any discipline yourself. If you've never been disciplined, and and the correction is to teach, not to insult, not to hurt, um, and a lot of people get that mixed up. Um, so that's why you can't correct people nowadays because they they've never had correction, um, and their correction has only been in the form of a beating or something. So with that being said. I don't want to get off the subject. I recently found out, because I talked to her, that she had another baby. And that she also had COVID and spent a considerable amount of time in the hospital. 
And it was really, really scary because the baby didn't contract COVID. Um, but they had to keep her really under, you know, ICU <coughs> and observation. I mean, you know, like like an ice, isolation, I should say, not ICU. So they could address the mother. Because the mother, I believe she said she had started breastfeeding the baby. Anyway, so again, as I was talking to her and feeling pretty, uh, you know, overwhelmed for her, she tells me something that, family, I got to have y'all, this is the gist of the conversation. I got to have y'all um, respond to it. Because <coughs> this is what... <coughs> This is what really got me. She went to the doctor. And she said that her doctor said, because in the interim of all this, she had a heart surgery, had to put a stent in her heart because her, you know, she's so stressed out. Her whole life is stressed. Um, it, you know, molestation of her children, just a lot of, a lot of things. So when she went to the doctor, the doctor said her heart was functioning at a 20%. I said, what? She said her heart was functioning at 20%. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, the next thing that came out of her mouth made me want to fall out my own self. She said she was worried about taking birth control pills or if she should get her tubes tied. I don't think y'all heard me. I really don't. Out of all of this, she said she's worried about if she should take birth control pills or get her tubes tied. She's scared to get her tubes tied. Now, is it me? Am I crazy? Please tell me, because I know this is the me this is the mental house now, y'all. Need to understand. I don't know if it's safer in here or out there. Am I a damn fool or what? Because some in my spirit tells me that should be the last thing you should want to do. It should be the last thing you should be thinking about. Because what one good orgasm might bust your heart. And I'm sad because you can't even transcend your body at all. Not even for six months. Or you, you got twenty a heart that's working at 20% capacity. You have a newborn, a baby less than less than a year. Less than a year. I would say about six months, maybe. Five or six months. You have all these other children with problems. And you got the damn nerve. Now, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm approved. Maybe I don't know. You know, I don't get it. But I don't want nothing. Nothing in my life holding me. Because uh, that's like what did Elton John said. Because that's like uh, being left down. That's like the sun going down on you. That's like being left down here with the sun going down on you. You can't trans. I don't, I don't want nothing holding me to the point where when it come time to leave or it come time for a rapture or come time to get away, I can't do it because I'm stuck on somebody's sex or sex. Okay. And my body, um, and I think that that is a very, very, very important um, part, expressing intimacy and love. It's also important who you express that with. But in her case, her heart rate should be operating 
at way, 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 way more than a damn twenty percent capacity for you talking about getting off. Now, is it me? Please, family, help me. Because I am going to read y'all comments to her. It's so important that she need to know that sometimes it's our stinking thinking that get us killed in some form or fashion. And maybe some of y'all don't agree. Some of y'all should say, bust it until you can't bust no more. But I think this woman is not married. This woman is the mother of a bunch of children who have a bunch of problems. And I really, really need y'all to take that in consideration. Whatever response you be give is no wrong or right opinion. It's just, it is what it is. So I look forward to hearing y'all uh, comments below. Um, I'd rather for you to put them on the page and not send it to me or anything in the email because I'm not going to be able to read my email right now. So, family, come on, y'all. Put something together for him. Please tell her what y'all think. Y'all think that she should be worried about that. <sighs> well, for once in her life, she put that shit away. All right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to see you in the next